today's video, I'll be making it on this Anxiang um, M.2 NVMe SSD. Let me open this up first. This is a very inexpensive M.2 NVMe SSD. And I will be comparing it with my Western Digital M.2 NVMe. The price of this was about $20 for 512 gigabyte M.2 SSD. I think this is made in Shenzhen, China. Just kind of like the Silicon Valley of China, I guess. I think this uses uh, Yangtze um, NAND memory chips. They're not using any um, Samsung or any other, or Micron or any other type of. Uh, memory chips. I think these are these are Yangtze. Memory modules. Or NAND memory chips. As you can see this is 512 megabytes. M.2 NVMe. Or you see Fanzian as you see right there. So I'll be testing this with this one right here, which is, uh, let me get this out. This is my Western Digital Blue SN550 500 gigabyte M.2 NVMe. So I'll be running the test for this first, and I will be running the test for that after. So let me go to my computer. Let me close this first. This is an Oracle M.2 NVMe enclosure, which I use in my computer to host a uh, M.2 NVMe SSD via USB-C port, because my computer has a USB-C port, and I will test it out next.
Okay, as you clearly saw from that test, um, it um, it was comparable to the Western Digital SN550, uh, 500 gigabyte M.2 NVMe SSD. I think it's a, a PCI ex PCI Express 3.0. Although uh, Fanziang uh, also makes um, they make higher end. Um, M.2 SSDs like um, they have this model was the S501 Fanciang uh, S501 512 gigabytes they do have other models like the S500 the S660 the S770 the S880 and the S900 and these are two uh, terabyte M.2 NVMEs. I think um, they're PCI Express 4.0 or something. And the frequencies or speeds can go up to anywhere from 7.3 gigabytes per second all the way up to 10 gigabytes per second. Or about 10,000 megabytes per second, something like that. Um, this did run a little bit hotter than the Western Digital M.2 NVMe SN550, and that one I paid about. Um, I, let me check my notes. I paid about forty-three dollars back in November of 2021, so roughly about two years ago and this one I paid about 20 in the low 20s very very inexpensive although there are um, the M.2 NVMe um, Gen 3 PCI Express Gen 3s are getting cheaper now because it is it is older um, it is getting less expensive so you could find something like this for maybe anywhere from, I guess, twenty twenty six dollars to forty dollars. But this was very very inexpensive, and I just wanted to test it out. Um, it did run a little bit hot. It was uh, when I when I ran the tests, it was seven degrees Celsius hotter than the Western Digital um, M.2 NVMe uh, SN550 but um, in, t in the test the results that I got was um, it was 15.4 um, megabytes per second slower in terms of read um, you could expect that and this is a peer-to-peer -peer test using the same uh, parameters like uh, in this case I was using a uh, M.2 NVMe um, enclosure using a USB-C port connected to a USB-C port on my computer and those are the results I got. Uh, the tech specs for this is uh, roughly about I think for read it's 2150 me uh, megabytes per second that would be 2.15 gigabytes per second the read the write speed would be about 1.6 gigabytes per second uh, about or 1600 megabytes per second for the WD Western Digital SN550 uh, the read speed is about 2.4 gigabytes per second that would be 2400 gigabytes per second. I think the write is about the same speed as well, or frequency. So, the other one is a little bit faster in terms of frequency. Um, in terms of uh, in terms of the stated um, read frequency, it's roughly about 25 or 250 megabytes per second faster than the Fanciang uh, S501 which is this thing so 
not not very much difference. Uh, if I connected this to my um, motherboard, I would probably get speeds up to about maybe two two thousand one hundred fifty megabytes per second in terms of uh, read speed, and write speed would be about sixteen hundred or one point six gigabytes per second. And um, when I put uh, my Western Digital SM550 because I have I bought three of those so basically two of them are in my motherboard the Western Digital SM550 it's in my motherboard and uh, I, I get about 2000 or 400 megabytes per second in terms of uh, reading speed the writes I get sometimes I could get 2200 megabytes per second or 2.2 gigabytes per second about that so roughly uh, I get I get the stated um, results in relation to the what they claimed basically so I think this is okay if you want something that's inexpensive in your computer I guess this could work um, I haven't tested this thing out for or done a durability test or anything, but uh, I think this is a pretty legit product. It's not. It's not like uh, some of the other um, SSDs that were from China before, where they put very inferior quality uh, microcontrollers or something like that. They were using uh, uh, 3D NAND memory chips from like other companies like Samsung and. Western Digital and Micron and stuff like that. This is a, basically a Chinese company uh, that uses Chinese uh, 3D NAND chips from from I think Yangtze or Yangtze or and it's using Chinese chips and a Chinese M.2 NVMe. So it's totally legit. I think the way they got the cost down was. Uh, they didn't have to buy the components from a foreign company. I think everything in this thing, this product is, is made in China without any foreign components whatsoever. And it came with this small screwdriver, as you can see, it's right there, and the M.2 NVMe screw. So if you're interested in some, a, a uh, a very well priced M.2 NVMe this may be for you and they do have larger versions and the price is very very competitive in relation to what you get so I hope you found this video helpful and if you have any comments or thoughts you could leave it in the comment section below and thanks for watching